Do you enjoy a good ghost story or a haunted house? Out of the millions of properties in the U.S., some have the unusual quality of having perpetual residents, people who don't pay rent or a mortgage but are nonetheless considered to live in the property. Anyone who enjoys watching paranormal investigation or ghost hunting shows can recommend certain locations where you might encounter some of the nation's most terrifying real-life ghosts. Then what makes a location haunted? When no one else is around, you can hear quiet conversations being whispered or see strange shadows or movements in your peripheral vision. As a result, we've put together a list of the top 10 most haunted houses in America. If you want to be stunned and amazed, watch this video to the end, subscribe to the channel, grab some snacks, and let's go. We promise they'll shake you to your very core. 10. Franklin Castle, Cleveland, Ohio One of Ohio's reputedly hottest paranormal hotspots in the Cleveland region is Franklin Castle. It was built in the 1880s for Hans Tiedemann, a co-founder of the Union Banking and Savings Corporation. Many people believe the house is haunted because of its horrifyingly terrible past, which included the deaths of Tiedemann's mother, wife, and four of his children. As more and more people around him started passing away, suspicion eventually fell on Tiedemann. There are stories that, uh, uh, that the original owner of the house might have murdered family members. Although these were simply stories, they ultimately tarnished Tiedemann's reputation and strengthened the notion that the house is haunted. Tiedemann's daughter Emma, who passed away from diabetes, is thought to haunt the house along with the lady in black and her mother, who peers out windows. 9. Whaley House, San Diego, California When James Yankee Jim Robinson was executed for grand larceny in 1852, Thomas Whaley was present. Years later, Whaley constructed a two-story brick Greek revival home there that was the first of its kind in San Diego. In addition to serving as a theater, courthouse, and general store, the Whaley residence is said to be haunted by Yankee Jim's ghost. However, this is not the most significant claim regarding this historic home. Since his daughter Violet Whaley allegedly committed suicide on the property in 1885, when Thomas and his wife were reunited with her in death, he is also not alone, it would appear. The mansion, which is now a museum, is thought to have housed their ghosts. 8. Merchant House, Manhattan, New York the Merchant House is an example of how old homes with significant historical significance are the ideal haunts for ghosts. The Treadwell family, one of the oldest families in New York, lived here for over a century and is thought to be the most haunted family home in all of Manhattan. Given that their clothing, furniture, decorations, and other belongings were all preserved, it appears that none of them have left, or at least one hasn't, depending on which family member you believe hasn't left. Gertrude, the final owner of the residence and the youngest daughter of Treadwell, is said to still linger in this mansion. She was born in one of the rooms, never left her home because she was single, and passed away in a room at an advanced age. Honestly, I wouldn't stay to see her. 7. Velisca Axe Murders House, Velisca, Iowa The tragedies that occurred here served as enough inspiration for horror books, spooky podcasts, and even a horror movie, which should give you a sense of how eerie this mansion is. This house, which is located in rural southwest Iowa, is well known for having been the scene of one of the most horrible murders in history. The night after a blackout, the Moore family and their visitors, friends of the Moore children, were among the eight people who were killed with an axe while they slept. Amazingly, the case is still unsolved today, thus the ghosts of those who died here cannot rest in peace. The regular footsteps, footfall, doors opening and closing, or voices are hardly the most disturbing sounds. Would you ever dare to enter this property if you knew this? In search of ghosts, a paranormal investigator mysteriously stabbed himself there. 6. Kehoe House, Savannah, Georgia Mr. Kehoe was an iron worker, and he said anything that you can make out of wood, I can make it out of iron. William Kehoe, an Irish immigrant who achieved tremendous success in the iron industry, built it in 1892. 
It was one of two residences that Mr. Kehoe had in the region, the other is nearby, in the city's Columbia Square. Mr. Kehoe was an iron craftsman and he claimed that anything you can construct out of wood, I can make it out of iron. Since Kehoe House was transformed into a renowned inn, numerous visitors have reported seeing ghostly children playing, smelling perfume when no one is around, and feeling touched while in bed. 5. The Orson Star House, Royal Oak, Michigan A home where its prior occupants' ghosts are still there and will torture you. No, I'm not referring to yet another paranormal activity film. Instead, I'm referring to the Orson Star House in Royal Oak, Michigan. It is the oldest structure in the area and was constructed in 1845, but in recent years, it has gained notoriety for the terrible tale it contains. This location is home to a variety of distinct hauntings. Three little children who died on the property within a week caused the famous family, who resided here, to be somewhat sad. However, according to the residents of the house, none of them have actually departed. Even more scary than that happened when a woman was shoved down the stairs after kicking a ball. 4. Lizzie Borden House, Fall River, Massachusetts In their home on August 4, 1892, Andrew Borden and his wife Abby were murdered with an axe. Although Lizzie Borden was eventually found not guilty of all charges, suspicion fell on her. But was Lizzie Borden really responsible? and that the tool used to murder her stepmother and father was an axe. Fall River City is plagued by the unsolved murder. One of the most infamous crimes committed in Massachusetts history, the case is still unresolved 129 years after it was first reported. Now a highly well-known bed and breakfast, people looking to conduct paranormal investigations, and those intrigued by the Nicarbra narrative seek out the residents. Numerous strange occurrences, including ghostly faces, footsteps, laughter, and even physical assaults, have reportedly been reported. 3. Myrtle's Plantation, St. Francisville, Louisiana Murder, Mutilation, and Vengeance Given the horrifying circumstances surrounding the events that occurred in this Louisiana home, it makes sense to believe that it is haunted. A paranormal investigator states, I didn't see this little girl in the window, but when the film was developed, there was a little girl coming out of the window and you can see her puffy sleeves. The Myrtle's Plantation is the subject of numerous urban legends, including those about 10 murders and its location on an Indian burial ground. Chloe the ghost is undoubtedly the darkest of all. She was a slave who was routinely subjected to assault by the property owner, Clark Woodruff, in retaliation for overhearing a discussion, her master cut off her ear. The other slaves hanged her and dumped her into the Mississippi River to put an end to her unhappy days because they were afraid and wanted to save their necks. 2. LaLaurie Mansion, New Orleans, Louisiana The ominous aura that surrounds this home is a result of the terrible crimes and tortures committed by its owner, Delphine Lallory. This woman presented a kind and polished social image to her guests, but she actually had a dark side since she enjoyed the agony of her slaves, torturing and decapitating them in addition to chaining and starving them. In an attempt to end their miserable lives, her slaves set fire to the house, but they failed, and even though nothing more was ever heard of them, their spirits continue to suffer to this day. When you were inside the mansion, you could see the doorknob spin and open by itself when no one was standing on the other side. But one room in particular sticks out from the rest of the house as being where Madame Lallery allegedly kept her slaves. Moans and laments are frequently heard coming from this area. 1. Amityville House, Amityville, New York Undoubtedly one of the most scary houses in the world is the Amityville House. No matter how skeptic you are, this mansion in Amityville, New York, will make you quake in horror because one of the most notorious massacres in American history occurred inside its walls in 1974. You may not believe in ghosts or demons, but trust me when I say it will make you shake. In cold blood, young Ronald DeFeo Jr. used a rifle to murder his parents and four of his siblings. Don't believe that this is where the story stops. 
he later admitted that voices in his head pushed him to act in that way. This house has inspired several books and movies, each one more blood-curdlingly terrifying than the other. The Lutz family bought the house, but while living there they witnessed frightening diabolical events such as a white figure coming down the stairs or sightings of a pig with red eyes, terrified the Lutz left after just 28 days. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss out on our amazing videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.